Well, listen, Penn State is an excellent lacrosse team. They are very good. Um, but we wasted an effort. You know, we, we wasted it. We, we, we played our tails off. And we just we gave them opportunities that they capitalized on. You know, the, the failed clears in the first quarter and then in the third quarter absolutely killed us. You know, and then we started throwing the ball away on offense. I thought that their goalie played excellent in the first half. And, you know, if you can one or two of those, it gives our offense a little bit more confidence, uh, potentially, you know, potentially. I'm not saying if we execute more, we win this game today because Penn State was sharp as can be. Um, but it doesn't feel the way it feels right now, you know. I mean, I give our guys credit. Going down 4 nothing to a team like that, they could have folded tent. And they went right back at those guys. And it was, it was, it was fun to see. It was a great second quarter. Starting the game in the second half with that goal by Jackson, you think that gives us some life. And then on the ensuing play, we have a failed clear. And they go on. A, I mean, heck, we played defense there for five minutes. You know, in hindsight, maybe two I could. Yeah, two failed clears in a row, and they score off both of them. Um, you know, in hindsight, maybe I call timeout there to give our defense a little bit of a break. But, you know, I'm looking at the scoreboard, and it's a tight game, and I want to save that for, for the fourth quarter. Um, you know, but I'm proud of our guys for how hard they played, different than last week. Eight goals in the last two games. What's going on offensively? It's execution. You know, last week was was an effort, and it, that was that was more of a team performance than an offensive performance. You know, today, um, I think the failed clears certainly certainly um, hurt us. I mean, but heck, that kid had ten saves in the first half. So, you know, ten saves in a half. There's a lot of goalies who are getting ten saves in a game. You know, so offensively, it wasn't that bad. You know, we just didn't score. Right? And the kid made some good saves, and certainly we could have shot a little bit better. But you know, for a kid to have 10 saves and a half, you can't look at the offense and say they're playing poorly. You know, you're getting good looks at the cage. We didn't take many bad shots. And I just think the flow of the game, when we failed to clear in that second half after that long stretch, that deflated us a little bit and it allowed them to play more confident. You know, they got a couple of easy goals off of that. When for that stretch, man, they had to work for their goals. You know, they had to work for their goals for a big part of the game. And um, it's disappointing that the scoreboard looks like that. But it's a credit to Penn State. They're a Final Four team. And they got a lot of kids back from that group from last year. Uh, and they're starting to come into form. What was your take on their defense, especially without 11 and 55? And they still look pretty good. Yeah, I think mean, Joe Bucci does a great job with those guys. Um, they certainly have gotten better as the season has gone on. I think that um, you know, they played hard on the ball. And their slide packages were smart. You know, but again, we got some looks in the first half there that, you know, against a pretty good defense, you, you like what we saw. We just didn't finish. X, any thoughts on the offense? What happened? Uh, I think we were a little disorganized. Um, like I said two weeks ago, um, team games, lacrosse, everyone has strengths and weaknesses. Um, and we got to do a better job trying to put guys in the right spots to be successful. Um, and that's, you know, even beyond the coaches and us on the field. The guys got to be set up, moving off ball. If you look at all the other teams, a lot of these teams are getting easy one more goals. And, and if you look at us, we don't get a lot of those. It's because we're unorganized. Um, but, yeah, three goals. And, you know, coach will always give the other team credit. You know, I like to put it on ourselves, and me included. We got to shoot at three goals is unacceptable. We're college across players. I don't care if they won the national championship last year. The reason we play here and we came here is because we came here to not play those teams but beat those teams. I don't care what anybody says. So, um, just better than last week in an effort standpoint. Um, but I think we just, we just, we just got to be better. Jackson, you talk about playing so much defense. I mean, the, the, like Go said, fail clears and then turnovers, throwing it away. I mean, you're, it's like you get a stop and then you're right back on defense. Exactly. Yeah, I think a lot of our huddles after they'd score goals was it was not talking about defense. It was just like we got to clear the ball. That was it. We were playing. We felt like we were playing solid defense there for a while and even bearing down when we failed to clear and then stopped them again and then failed to clear again. And then they, sc they scored, I think, on that ensuing uh, offensive possession. Um, it's tough to get back and reset. And it's like, oh, they get another, you know, 60, 80 seconds on the shot clock. Um, I thought there were some good things, but we didn't, I, th I don't think we played for a full 60 minutes like we could have. 19 turnovers, so I mean, that's a lot of those unforced. Yeah, I mean, look at the clearing stats, you know. I mean, 
we have five failed clears and they probably got three goals off of them, you know. Um, and then you look at the turnovers on the offensive end. I mean, you know, six throws the ball away. We clear the ball and 66 has the ball in the strong hand and he, he, instead of throwing it down the alley to X, left-handed, he puts the stick in his right hand and he bounces the ball out of bounds. They come down and score on the next possession. It's things like that that you can't do against teams like this. You just, you just can't do it, you know. You know, and it, it, that, I, I mean, offensively, I got to imagine that when those things happen, it kind of deflates you and it makes you play a little bit tighter, um, makes sure, you know, be disorganized. And the things that X said, I completely agree with. And from a coaching standpoint, we have to do a better job of making sure that one of our players after the game doesn't even think that he should say that, you know. Um, and he's not wrong, you know, he's not wrong. So that's on us to make sure that that never happens again.